Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here with the new topic that is how to import airfoil coordinates into the ANSYS software. So I had already covered how to import these airfoil coordinates into SolidFox. So we'll see how exactly we're gonna uh, do the same thing inside the ANSYS software as well, okay? So for this, we need to go to this airfoil tools website and then download the coordinates and add it in Excel and prepare the uh, a text file. Let's see how exactly uh, we can do the same thing. You need to go to Chrome and you need to search for uh, NACA airfoils and you need to select the first link. So let me just show you the same thing. NACA airfoil, if you just select it, uh, you'll get this airfoil tools. From here, you can able to select. So right now I'm look, looking for an ACA 643618 FOI. I need this. So if you want to generate the coordinates for this, you need to click on this option. Can you see this and to FOI flutter. If I do it, the same FOI, ACA 643618 will be imported to the FOI flutter. Now here I need the uh Card length of uh, one meter exactly, but I want to scale it to 15, like 0.15 percent. So it is 150 mm, right? So I'll simply click on float. So it will float that airfoil with respect to card length of 150 mm. So once you do that, you can export this as CSV files. So just click on download. The files will be downloaded. So just open it once and you simply need to copy these things. Can you see these X, Y coordinates? Control C. I'd like to create a new uh, Excel for this. So I'll paste it here. These are the X, Y coordinates. I need one more along C. So along C column, I'll create it. All coordinates are zero. So it should be at the center. Okay. So coordinates are ready. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just save this on the desktop. You can create a new folder if you want. Uh, let me just specify on the desktop. New folder. Uh, Airfoil. Okay. I'll open it. Airfoil coordinates. I'll save it as Excel. Now, once I save it, for answers, we need extra two columns. So, what I'll do is I'll copy these things, Control X, and I'll paste it to CDE. Okay. Here in the first column, I'd like to add one everywhere. So this is the uh, one coordinate system. So second here, I'll add the incremental values like series of one and two like this. So drag it up to the bottom row, okay, like this. So the last digit here, I'll convert it into series and the last digit, whatever it is, it should be zero. So it should reach to uh, X, Y, Z, zero coordinate, okay? Like this, you need to customize it. So this is very essential for ANSYS software. So once you do that, we can save this as text file. Okay. So for ANSYS, you can just name it. And once you do that, just save and close this Excel. And you can switch to ANSYS now. So I'll drag and drop the geometry and I'll simply right click on it and uh, uh, open with the design modeler the design model of workbench to create the uh, airfoil curve that is the structure okay the coordinates are import there and uh, and create the structure now in this you go to the concept from the 3d curve from here you just look for the location from file browse that location and you could see this is how the uh, airfoil coordinate will be generated you just need to uh, click on generate the coordinates will be added and the 
complete curve will be created okay so don't go with the points and manually create the curve simply you can use the 3d curve and import the or the coordinates it will automatically create entire air file okay so yep so this is all about uh, importing coordinates air file coordinates to the ANSYS workbench and after that you can make the modifications and add the uh, bonding uh, enclosure and you can just uh, split the boundary and mesh it accordingly well that's all about the session thank you guys stay tuned bye everyone